Huffington Post blasphemously declares that Jesus Christ is the first transgender man. Reprinted from the Huffington Post. The current flap in conservative Christian circles about bathroom access is a bit baffling. They shout about God not making mistakes, as if God only works in binaries and anything falling outside of black and white cannot be from Him. But we don't have a black and white God. Creation is so full of color and variation that it's incomprehensible how we Christians struggle to pare him down to the limited palette of our individual expectations. The worst offenders are the Christians who claim to take the Bible literally. Of course they don't actually do that, they impose their own filters on stories and phrases to fit their particular ideology. If they really did as they claim to do, they would quickly see that Jesus must be by their own exegetical rules, the first transgender male. Let's take a look at what the Bible and Christianity tell us. The teaching of the church from ancient days through today is that Jesus received his fleshly self from Mary. The church also teaches that Jesus is the new Adam, born of the new Eve. How wicked and lost has society become that the idea of a transgender Jesus could even be discussed. Woe unto them! For they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, Wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Jude 1 colon 11 13. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingme.webs.com.